welcome back to my another tutorial today we are going to change the password of D-Link router in this case open any web browser in my case I am using the Google Chrome and before changing the password of D-Link router look back the router where you can get the default IP address to gain access to the router's interface in my case the IP address of my D-Link router is 192.168.1.1 Okay, the model of my router is DSL2750U depending up on the model you may have different IP addresses so you must look uh, back to your router to get your IP address in my case my IP address is 192.168.1.1 and you need to apply the username and password in this login dialog box and if you have not changed the password the default password is admin admin and you can also get your default password on the back side of the of your router I'm applying my password here after applying the password I am on the uh, D-Link routers interface where I can manage each and everything about the router and today we are going to change the password so just click on wireless on the wireless tab you can have two options wireless basic wireless security you need to click on that wireless security on the wireless security we can get the different tabs such as wireless security mode you need to keep the security mode on WPA only or there are lots of options I think the WPA2 only uh, is the secure option and just bottom of the page you can see the pre-shared key where you need to add your new password to the uh, to, to your uh, Wi-Fi so on the pre-shared key you can enter your new password just change the password and click on apply ok I am changing the password and I am clicking the apply button now I need to restart the router you can restart your router by pressing the restart button on your router or you can go to the management tab and click click on the reboot button ok it seems the router is being reboot it can take few seconds and after that the uh, password of your router or uh, Wi-Fi will be changed and you need to apply the new password to gain access to your wireless network and I think this video is might be helpful to you and if you have any question you can ask me on the comment uh, by doing the comment by posting the comment below and don't for forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much